Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Uh, today we have a new selection. It's Thank You, Ma'am, for Langston Hoos. It's a short story. This short story talks about a very famous and common accident that maybe uh, it happened um, every day with people all over the world. It talks about uh, an old lady coming back from work. Uh, she was going home alone on the street at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, suddenly, a young boy rushed uh, into her purse. He wanted to snatch, to steal her purse, but unfortunately, he slipped. I say unfortunately for the boy, but actually, it is fortunately for the lady. He slipped down, she controlled him, she caught him, and she asked him, what did you aim at? He told her, I didn't aim at that. So he denied that he was trying to steal her. After a short conversation with them, she told him, okay, um, I'll take you home to watch your face. Uh, don't you have anybody to tell you that? He said, no. In the way home, he asked her to lose him, to set him free. But she asked him a very nice question. If she um, set him free, would he escape? He said, yes. So he went home with her, he washed his face, he stayed. She offered him some uh, food because she assumed that he tried to steal her because he was really hungry or being hungry. But the result or the uh, reality was different. He wanted to steal her because of, um, he can say, he wanted to buy new shoes. Okay, so let's see what happened the incident, um, analysis, and some critical question. Let's go to the written analysis for this short story. Let's go. About the author, Langston Hughes, James Langston Hughes was born on February the 1st, 1901, and died on May 22, 1967. He was an American poet, social activist, novelist, playwright, and columnist from uh, Joplin, Missouri. One of the earliest innovators of uh, the then new literary art from cold jazz poetry who is best known as leader of harm medicines he published his first work just a year after his high school so his talent appeared very early after his high school graduation though he wrote in many genres genre is a type of text like uh, drama uh, you can say um, uh, mimic different types of text. Hooks is best known for his poetry, but today we will study uh, his short story. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go. Let's have some literary analysis. Settings. We agreed before that settings are place of time, place of events, and time of event. Place of event actually in the street. When Mrs. Jones uh, was coming back home, she was walking along. Time of event at 11 o'clock at night. Then characters, two, we have two main characters, Roger, the little thief, and Mrs. Jones, the gentlewoman. And I say gentlewoman because she is. Plot and text analysis. Mrs. Jones was in her way back home at 11 o'clock at night. Roger, the boy, or the young boy tried to snatch or steal her purse in the street. Unfortunately, he slept down and the woman dragged him to the floor and controlled him completely. She will teach him a lesson. We need to answer two questions or these two questions to understand the plot in a better way. Number one, 
won't you teach him this moral lesson by punishment or forgiveness? Or uh, the second question is, what is the moral lesson? What is this moral lesson? So if you are able to answer this question, then you got the gist of this lesson. Let's move to the next slide. Parts from the dialogue between Mrs. Jones and Roger. Dialogue is a conversation between characters and people uh, written on the play. Then she said, now, aren't you ashamed of yourself? He said, yes, ma'am. Mrs. Um, Jones talked to uh, the young Roger. She told him, don't you feel ashamed, embarrassed of yourself? He said, yes, ma'am. What did you want to do it for? The boy said, I didn't aim to. So she told him, what did, what did you want to do with my purse? Or what did you want to do with me? He said, I didn't aim to. He's denying his theft. Okay, um, she said, you're a liar or you're lying. And he said, he, he tried to deny it or to pretend to be a naive person, but she knows the truth. Actually, I got these quotes from Unit 3, Turning Point, My Perspective, Level 7. Okay, um, if you, in case you want to open and check these uh, sentences said by the woman and the boy. The boy denied his intonation to steal her, but she know about his real intonation or intention to steal uh, her bag or her purse. Plot text analysis. Mrs. Jones caught Roger, and he asked her to set him free to lose him. But she asked him if she set him free, will he run or not? He answered frankly, yes, ma'am. He told her, if you set me free, I would run away. He's honest, after all. So she didn't set him free. She took him home by force. Mrs. Jones considered this boy as her son and told him, that she will let him wash his face as the boy told her that there is nobody home to tell him to do so. He is insisting on her to set him free. Still, he's trying with her. Still, Roger was afraid that Mrs. Jones is going to set him to jail to deliver him to the police. But if she intended to do that, she would never take him home with her and asked him to wash his face? I don't think so. This reflects the woman's good way or good, uh, good um, skill in changing his manner in a positive way. Mrs. Jones asked him about the reason for stealing her purse. He told her that he wanted to buy a new blue shoes. She gave him food to eat and $10 to buy a new shoe and told him to behave himself and not to try this again. This is frankly and briefly what happened exactly in this novel. So you can consider this some sort of short analysis or short summary for the whole uh, story. Here, the door was open. I consider this part is exactly analysis or criticizing the characters inside this text. The door was open and Roger could escape, but he didn't want to be untrusted again or fail Mrs. Jones again. So he had the chance to escape, but he didn't try even. She offered him some food. Roger changed his face, sorry, his place to be seen by Mrs. Jones. He sat in a place. When he discovered that Mrs. Jones cannot see him clearly, he moved to be uh, directly seen by her, at least to make her feel safe. So, Roger changed his place to be seen by Mrs. Jones and away uh, from her purse. He sat away from her purse to make her feel safe, that he will, he, he will not uh, steal it again and, and run away. He has seeds of honesty inside. This is the feeling actually uh, I got from this behavior. Finally, Mrs. Jones gave him $10 to buy the new blue shoes and told him not to try this again. He promised to behave. 
Okay. Here I'm showing some critical analysis to the character of Mrs. Jones. The woman said, I believe you are or being hungry to snatch my purse. Maybe she thinks that hunger could be the acceptable or the most acceptable excuse for trying to steal her purse. Because when people are hungry, they can behave or do strange actions because of hunger. So don't be a hangry man or an angry man. Okay? But there is no acceptable reason for being a thief, actually, and honestly, there is no reason for this. He could ask for food. Mrs. Jones believes that we can change people to a better individuals by good deeds and consideration. At the end of the story, Roger didn't want to be untrusted again. He also wanted to say something else after saying thank you, ma'am. But he cannot, or he couldn't. Mrs. Jones is a real human being. You ought to be my son. Eat some more, son. Good night. Behave yourself. These very simple and uh, kind words, you know, don't come out unless this person is um, a good-mannered person. So this reflects that the woman or Mrs. Jones followed the best way to change Roger's manner, which is by kindness and consideration and forgiveness, not by fire or punishment. She believed that kindness can make better change inside the human soul by forgiveness. So she behave, believed that behaving in a good manner, uh, reacting in a good deeds or a good manner towards the bad vicious action, could change and get a perfect effect on the people who behave in this way. And I agree with her in most of cases, not all cases. Still, we need just to answer these questions and then we can come to an end. How do Mrs. Jones and Roger meet? Uh, Roger tries to steal Mrs. Jones' purse, so they met in the street at 11 o'clock when he tried to steal Mrs. Jones. Two, what does Roger accept Mrs. Jones to do? Any thief um, who uh, was caught except uh, to be sent to jail or to be delivered to the uh, police station. So he expects Mrs. Jones to take him to the police or set him to jail. What does Mrs. Jones do instead? She takes him to her home. She takes him home, tells him to wash his face, feeds him uh, some supper, gives him money to buy Lou uh, suit of shoes. Then she sends him home, warning him to behave. So she took him home. She gave him food and money. She gave him a good considering words like behave, buy your blue shoes, don't try this again, and behave. Actually, this woman is a, a great and noble example of human beings. At least any one of her, and instead of her place, he could set him free and that's it, and forget about the story. But she insisted to take him home, wash his face, give him food, and maybe you know, um, she doesn't have much money or more money, but she has a big heart to consider and feel poor people. And she knows that a man is the product of his community. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any comments uh, related to this text, please write your comment below this video. And let's see you soon in Silent Spring. Thank you very much and goodbye.